In my last video, I showed you how I made the cyclone dust separator from an old shop vac. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made it automatic so that it turns on and off every time I use the tools. The basis behind this project is pretty simple. I've got these two tools, my homemade sander and my miter box, and they're hooked up to the dust collector all the time, and they're separated with individual blast gates. The benefit to the system is pretty obvious. When using a miter saw, I often bring a piece over here, make a quick cut, then do something else, then bring it back over here and make another cut. So having the dust collection come on and off automatically just saves a step. But really, the main reason to do this is because I can, and for fun. So to control the dust collector from each of the machines, I've added one of these micro switches to each of the machines. And every time these get triggered, then the dust collection system turns on. For the miter saw, I originally thought that I would put the switch right underneath the actual switch on the saw. So by taking this handle apart and putting it inside next to the switch, after I took it all apart, I realized that there was just not enough room in there to add another switch. So I did the next best thing, which was adding it to the back of the saw. I made a mounting plate for the switch to attach to and epoxied that to the back of the saw. And that hits the main arm of the saw as it travels up and down. And so every time you lower the saw, the switch is unpressed and when you raise the saw back up the switch is depressed and that sends a signal to tell the dust collector when to turn on and off. For the sander I had to get a little bit more creative. The only moving part to attach another switch to is the main power switch itself. So I added this little brass bar and that just slides up and down so every time you turn the main switch on and off this gets slid up and pushes the switch to turn on the dust collector. You're probably wondering where the wires for these switches go. Any guesses? There are two components inside of this electrical box, a Raspberry Pi 3 and a relay board. If you're not familiar with a Raspberry Pi, it's basically a small computer and it has this bank of input and output pins on the side. For me, I am using the two switches from the tools coming in as an input. There's a small bit of code on the Raspberry Pi that's looking for switches every second. And once it reads a switch being pressed, then it sends an output signal to the relay. The relay closes and that causes the connection to the main power switch to be made, which is right here and that causes the dust collector to turn on. When I'm done using a tool and the switches go back to their normal state, that's red on the Raspberry Pi, and then after a one second delay, the switch for the relay is then opened and that causes the power to be cut to the dust collector. Since essentially all I'm doing with the Raspberry Pi is controlling the power switch to the dust collector, I can still use the power switch to turn on and off the dust collector whenever I want. by no means an expert programmer. The only thing I really know how to do is go out on the internet and find some code. So I found some code that is for turning on an LED with the push of a switch. And that was close enough and I modified it a little bit to make it work here. If you're interested in making a system like this, I will leave a link to my website down below in the description where I will post the code. And I'll also post the wiring diagram for how I hooked up the switches 
to the Raspberry Pi and to the power outlet. I think it'd be really cool to expand on this idea and use the Raspberry Pi to do other things in the shop. If anyone has any ideas what I could control or what I could do with a Raspberry Pi to make my shop more efficient, more fun, interesting, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. I'd really like to hear your suggestions. If you're interested in either the homemade sander, the dust collector, or the dust hood for my miter saw, I've got videos on all three of those things, as well as many other videos, so check those out as well. Other than that, thanks for watching. I originally, I did not plug in the microphone. Oh. For the Raspberry Pi, all about I can do, all about I can do.